Stories Tower here in Richmond is a residential facility and complex uh, that meets the needs of a number of different organizations and these organizations reach out to people with a wide variety of issues and offer them not only a place to call home with, with many may not have had that word a home for many, many years. Uh, whether you're down on your luck, whether you have addiction or mental health or medical issues, they can come here to this uh, place. They can pay a fair and equitable rent based on what they earn, and they can continue with their business and give back in other ways. You know, the three ways to give back are time, talent, and treasure. If you don't have the treasure, you certainly can have the time and talent, and that's what Stories does is, okay, we're going to help you out in the treasure point, but will you give back with your time and talent? And you'll see that people are so grateful that it's a wonderful community here. Right now, in this moment, I have a business. I'm having a restaurant in downtown that looks like it's super successful, but uh, we working hard and working 12 hours per day, but still not make enough money to support the family. Even if I did have a full-time job, it, was, it would probably be at minimum pay, and I don't think I would be able to afford a regular a unit here in Richmond, not even a bachelor apartment. I was in a shelter for the homeless, so I came with nothing. No friends, family shut me out, no job, no money, nothing. When I pay a high rent, I will have very little to spend on food. But now I have more to spend on food because my rent is lower. That is not a luxury, it's a necessity because I have to eat well hmm? to stay alive. I'm 80 and over. Not only do you have a roof over your head, but there's counseling services, there's programs, there's also the Stories Cafe where you can learn to uh, uh, have a trade in the food and beverage uh, area. There's a number of opportunities and that's the key. Uh, truly success is where preparation meets opportunity and we have that here at this magnificent Stories uh, complex. It's really hard to find a safe place where there's no drugs. When we're early in our recovery, just anything can trigger us. And so uh, if we can stay away from those triggers, then we we're stronger in our recovery. And this is what Stories is giving us. The most important thing is structure. And this apartment complex and this retail shop gives people structure. And with structure also enables you to move into your next step and your next phase. I've won a lottery. <laughs> It looks beautiful from outside, it's beautiful from inside. Probably you can see the view, it's a sunrise and sunset, everything in a one place and whole family live together. I'd be living on the street like I was for 16 days. It's not a long time, 16 days, but it was pretty rough. I became a new person overnight. My concept of this place is it helped me tremendously become a better person. Work, housing, uh, friends, uh, I don't know, everything that I have, my entire life revolves in this clubhouse here. In these few short months, I, I've moved from homeless shelter to this. <laughs> The Stories Complex here in Richmond really would not be possible without so many different levels of government and, and uh, assistance. Uh, we start out with uh, the federal government and CMHC Housing. Provincially, uh, obviously, government and the uh, Ministry of Health and so many other ministries. Locally, the City of Richmond, Malcolm Brody and the amazing people on City Council and the staff at the City of Richmond. And then, of course, our amazing uh, partners here. Uh, whether it be success, whether it be turning points, whether it be Coast Health. All of these amazing organizations have come together to build this Stories uh, facility and of course this cafe. That's what Stories is all about. It's nondescript, it's right here in Richmond. It could be anywhere because it's so needed across this province. And this is a great step forward in helping changing lives of British Columbians.